Hello, good evening from the Philippines. It's John Expat in the Philippines, and I uh, hope you're having a nice evening or a nice morning. The last few days I've tried to get my message across to all of my subscribers or viewers that come to the channel, and we do appreciate you coming. But there inevitably seems to be something missing. Uh, a, a sort of sense of understanding that clearly isn't there. And I've naturally tried to think that how I put my point over and my message is understood by the majority of people. But inevitably we always seem to get off track we get uh, comments that, as much as they're appreciated, they don't actually relate to the, the latest video. And I've suddenly realized that they're comments that relate to maybe something that was done a month ago. And it's a little bit difficult to put another comment back. So I put a, a heart. Just so that you know I've watched or read your comment. But inevitably we always have some clown that decides he must put his heartfelt thoughts down on paper. And that's why I published my recent one from, oh I don't even know his name, you'll have to check my um, summary of the channel. And it's sad that the few out there that just don't get the message. I mean, I did a, a video a couple of days ago about the value of your money. I wasn't talking about the currency rate. I wasn't talking about you had to live on 750 pesos a day. I said, try walking out the door with 750 pesos in your pocket. Try living for a day on 750 pesos. That doesn't mean I'm saying to you, you have to make that your budget. We all know that 750 is a very small amount of money for us foreigners. But it doesn't necessarily mean that we couldn't, if we wanted to, be sparing, be frugal, and actually get through each day yeah. on 750 pesos. Now, the reason I did that was to make you aware that that's, what, that's more than most people earn here per day. And they go home, and they look after their wife, and maybe a few children, and maybe an uncle or an aunt as well in the home. And it's to highlight the fact that money does obviously not grow on trees. They work hard for their money. And I wanted you to try and think, instead of just spend, 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 which of course you're entitled to do, Give yourself maybe a week and just see if you actually can see what I mean. If you have money left over, that's great. Yeah. If you don't, then clearly you've not been able to do the exercise. Now the exercise is in restraint. It's showing you that you can have a good day out. You can wander up the road. You can go on a jeepney, you can go into town, you can feed yourself, and you can come home refreshed, have a shower, and sit down and watch the TV, or maybe read a book. Oh, that's a strange one. But that's the whole point that I'm making. These people here in the Philippines do it every day. Not because it's an experiment, but it's a survival. Without that money, 
And that's a lot of money for a lot of people. That's more than I pay my tradesman uh, builder with a lot of experience. He's my foreman in a way. And that's the kind of money he brings home. Not every day, but most days that he's in work. And he feeds his family, an extended family. He has sons, adults and wives living at home, the wives of his children. And if you realise then, at the end of the week, that you maybe can't live on 750, it's not that you've failed. It's the fact that you've recognised that maybe you have to look more carefully at how you spend your money. Because, like we might say, money doesn't grow on trees. And it's actually quite encouraging to know that you can put a certain amount of your salary, or be it a pension, aside each month for those rainy days. Oh, rainy days, I shouldn't speak too loud. But that's what I'm meaning. If you show some restraint, you can still have a good life here in the Philippines and you can live on the smell of an oily rag, so to speak, and still be happy. I know that if you have 5,000 a day or 10,000 a day, it doesn't really matter because I'm not telling you how much you should spend. I'm just giving you an example of learning the value of your currency here. You can't go in and buy a can of baked beans and say, oh, that's only 40 pesos. Right, that's only a dollar Australian. No, it's 40 pesos. It's not a dollar Australian. If every time you buy something, you convert it back into dollars or pounds, then you're giving yourself a false sense of economy. Of course things are cheaper here. You can go in and buy a meal that the ingredients might only cost you 150 pesos, maybe 200. But that will feed a whole family for the whole day. And it's important that you realise that. Yes, you can go out and pay 700, maybe more, per kilo of a T-bone steak. But don't go converting that and saying, oh, that's only $15 a kilo. No, it's not. It's 670 or whatever I just said per kilo in peso. So don't confuse the two. Cost of living is lower here. A lot of things, if you do do that conversion, you'll find that internet connection at about 1500 a month is pretty reasonable compared to Australia. But I don't compare it to Australia because when I get my pension, it's in pesos. And therefore, it has to go from point A to point B over a four-week period. So it's always good to remember when you just spent 1500 for something that you probably didn't need. Or you were maybe being a little bit flippant with your money. You've just spent over three days' salary for an average person. What would he have spent in that to achieve the same benefit that you've just done? These are just important questions you have to ask. It's boots on the ground. And I can't emphasize more that when you come to the Philippines and you finally end up here living every day, it's going to be more expensive living in hotels, it's going to be more expensive renting a big place near the sea. And those things come into it. If, you are, if your wife or your future wife has got a family home and you can stay there, you will keep your costs down. And it will give you also the opportunity of seeing how they live every day. And maybe adding a, an extra thousand pesos every couple of days to their budget from your money is a good investment for you to see what they can give you by you donating that money to the food bill of the family and see what a lovely, lavish meal they'll produce for you. 
And you'll start to feel that you're here in the Philippines. And life can be a wonderful experience. So, those that find this boring or unable to work it all out, I'm sorry that it's bored you and I'm sorry that you haven't understood what I'm making as my point of view for the day. Thank you. Bye-bye.